Hi everyone. So I received a question from a potential client this week and it's an important question for authors and thought leaders and it's one that I actually receive on a regular basis um, and that's why I wanted to take a few moments today um, to talk to you about it. Um, so here's the question. He asked me, is it worth trying to put together a best-selling launch? Woo! Big question. It's actually not a yes or no question, and it's one that requires you look at many aspects of your platform, including things like your business model and stage as a thought leader. But that's another video for another time. Um, so why is this preoccupation with bestseller status so pervasive? Well, there's a myth that achieving bestseller status will um, help you create enough momentum to catapult to the top of your industry and keep you in the catbird seat in the position of recognized leader into perpetuity, right? So this is a myth and it's perpetuated by examples like say Tim Ferriss's first book, The 4-Hour Workweek. That was a runaway bestseller, spent multiple weeks and months on the bestseller list and it um, took Tim into you know business celebrity status, but the fact is that is not the case. This is a unicorn, it's not the case for 99% of the authors. Here's the reality. There are two big reasons why bestseller status doesn't amount to much for most authors and thought leaders. Number one reason is duration on the list. So let's say that you make the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal bestseller list, but you're only there for a week. The fact is most people are not going to necessarily um, notice that you're on the list. And this is even more the case um, if you're at the top of your category um, for the day on Amazon. Um, Amazon is not technically a bestseller list like the Wall Street Journal and New York Times bestseller, but regardless, it's like your best snap. It's here today and gone tomorrow. The second reason is about the investment. The amount of time, money, and energy required to get to, to put together a bestseller launch and get to bestseller status is incredible. It can often lead to burnout and even bankruptcy, and I'm not even exaggerating. Um, and that's why you see a lot of um, authors who achieve bestseller status who stop marketing their book shortly after the launch. They put all of their heart and soul and energy into the launch and they don't even think um, about the follow through so that bestseller status doesn't amount to much. So here's the truth. Bestseller status can be great and really um, impactful, but it doesn't guarantee lasting impact. So think about some of the influencers you know and love. So influencers like Seth Godin, Michael Port, those who are recognized leaders in their industry, they may have one or many bestsellers um, to their name, but it's not about that for them. They are playing a bigger game. So they know it's about the long-term impact and they design their strategies for everything um, from their book launch to every aspect of their platform. And there's 10 a um, aspects to your thought leader platform. They design everything around this particular truth. So I want to leave with you, you with two questions today. So regardless of your stage as an author or thought leader, there's going to be one or more books in your future. So ask yourself, number one, what is my motivation? Am I motivated just to be able to put bestseller um, as part of my bio or am I motivated to change the conversation in my industry? Are you being called to be a recognized leader um, and truly transform your audience for the long term? Or do you just want to be able to call yourself a bestseller? Important question to ask. Number two, what's your strategy? Um, when it comes to your book launch, are you designing a strategy that helps you with long-term success as well as long-term impact, or are you just focused on the short-term gains? Also, when you look at the strategy you're designing, is it based on someone else's business model, message, audience, and goals, or based on your platform, your message, audience, and goals, and your path? It really matters. Um, success is not a copycat strategy. So there's a lot more to talk about as it relates um, to bestsellers, how to get there, why it matters, or why it doesn't matter. Um, but for today, just think about, remember that bestseller status doesn't guarantee lasting impact and ask yourself these questions about motivation and strategy and you'll be a lot further down the path of investing your time, energy, and money wisely. So that's all for today. See you soon.